All right, welcome back guys and girls to another episode of myself, Luke. So I hope you had a fantastic day or having a fantastic day uh, wherever you are. So Bitcoin is in extreme danger of dropping a lot lower. So stay tuned to the very end. I'm going to go over uh, my thoughts. Again, none of this is financial advice. I'll just put that out there right at the beginning. What I say is just for educational purposes only. You've got to do your own research. Check out other people, uh, other YouTubers, etc. If you want financial advice, go and seek a financial advisor so subscribe if you haven't done so already um help me grow on this on youtube thumbs up thumbs down whatever it's all good for the algorithm so today in the bitcoin price right now we have gone past that green uh, support now if you were with me yesterday now my, the title of my thumbnail yesterday was basically we had to jump past 64k um and we haven't, I mean, we've just rolled over. And that was something I did mention in yesterday's episode. So you can go and check out that episode yesterday. If you watched it, you know exactly what I said. And yeah, we were around uh, this period here and we've had like a small double top here, 64K. We needed to, to go past it to flip from short-term bearish back into a bullish momentum so that we can go basically back into this um, Let's just go back to the, the daily and then I'm going to zoom out. There we go. So basically we needed to jump past here to reverse this uh, trend. So because we've been going down, I mean, we've dropped, how much have we dropped down since this like double top here? We have gone from uh, the 7th of June, so almost a month, all the way right now down 16%. Okay, so we've dropped down eleven, almost twelve thousand dollars in Bitcoin over one month. So we need basically to get past that sixty-four k to swing back into a bullish momentum. It hasn't happened, and today it doesn't look good because we've gone past that uh, support at uh, approximately sixty thousand. So where could we go? Well, we don't have. If you notice, we don't have a lot. Let me just get. Uh, where is it? Let me get a rectangle going here. So we do have this here, and this is the problem. If we drop, in my opinion, if we drop below uh, these prices here of what, 50, 59K to between 58, 59K, then most likely it's lights out and we're gonna go a lot lower. It's just, I mean, I don't wanna sound a bearer of bad news, but it is what it is. But if it goes lower, Personally, for me, it's a great buying opportunity because Bitcoin will be uh, at lower prices, will be cheaper uh, to accumulate Bitcoin and for the altcoin. So, yes, the Bitcoin dominance as well has uh, gone up a, a slight change in percentage, which is not good for the altcoin. So the altcoins have uh, dropped down, what, 10, 15 percent for the week. Some of them are down 20 or 30 percent. And for the month, it's not looking great. But... When I look at this, it's basically the sale. Something like Gala is down almost 50%. I have a bag full of this and I will be buying up more Gala um, because I believe that we are in a bull run. So it's at this moment right now, we, we're experiencing uh, just pullbacks. Um, but maybe you disagree. Let me know in the comments section below if you disagree with me. If you think some of you think that we've entered a bear market, but if the cycles repeat, in which they tend to do, we are in a bull market all you have to do is just zoom right out and look at the big picture and i mean we've gone from 15k back in 2022 2023 and we're all the way up still at 60,000 so we're still in this range we're still in this consolidation period but the problem is we could go uh, a lot lower in the imminent short term so where could we go so if basically if we break through this um purple uh, rectangle over the next few days it I mean, it looks like it could do. I mean, we're not, we don't have a lot of uh, support left here. Then, like I said, we probably come all the way down to the next level of 51, 52,000, which we clearly have some key support here. After that, we've got this gigantic level here of 44, 45K. Personally, I don't think we will drop lower than 51 okay so that's what i was uh, pointing out at the beginning of the show we could drop what what would that be another so basically it would be another ten thousand, uh, almost an eight nine k 
that we could drop. We could drop another 14%. So in a bull run, usually Bitcoin does go through these um, 25, 30% corrections. And if you go from the, the top here, uh, back in, when was this? March of this year, and we do come down to that, uh, and it's interesting because it's the Fibonacci level, at that $52,000 level, I think it's a 0 0.38 level. That would be exactly 21, 000, almost $22,000 dumped, which would be a 30% pullback. Or if you wanna call it a dump, then by all means call it a dump. But if we go back in history, we do have, through the, the bull market, when we have that uh, after the um, basically the halving, we do have pull. It's not we don't go up in a straight line. It's as simple as that. So we do have those pullbacks. It would actually be healthy for the market if we did go down to these levels. Personally, I hope it doesn't. But if it does, then my opinion, I will be buying up more Bitcoin, more altcoins at these levels because if the cycle repeats, and I I think especially with big institutions, the ETF narrative etc most likely this year the end of this year will be in a six figure uh, bitcoin so yes we have that uh, sell sell pressure because of uh, what was it mount gox with the german government etc um the rumors about ethereum etf could it be a buy the rumor sell the rumor? so there's a lot of things going on uh, at this moment so yes we could simply dump down personally if it happens Bitcoin, altcoins will be cheaper, you can buy up more. It's not the end of the world. It's just, I mean, not just, it's a 30% pullback. But personally, I don't think we will go any lower than, for sure, I don't think we'll go back into the 30s. Some are waiting for the 30s. I think that's finished for this cycle. Worst case scenario, we'd probably come down to these levels. And if you think the big institutions are going to allow it to go back into the 30s, then you probably think again. I don't personally think that they will allow that to happen if it comes down to these levels then they'll be just mopping up more bitcoin and yeah we will be basically going into the end of this year most likely this we have this uh, v-shape recovery and that's it we go uh, towards that 100k so again all of this is just speculation it's just my opinion but yesterday go and check out my video yesterday i did mention the the possibility of having uh, this uh, bear situation but you just gotta I mean, look at the big picture if you're hodling if you're hodling bitcoin or whatever over the next five ten years it doesn't really concern you i mean over the next five ten years bitcoin will probably be a million dollars anyway so if you're here for the short term obviously it's a bit different if you're here long term like me bitcoin 100 percent, 99.9 percent is going to go over 100k at some point and towards a million dollars so it's just time that's it in crypto things go fast so you just got to be patient and if we have those pullbacks you've got to use it as a buying opportunity and not to let the rest of everybody friends or whatever uh, let you be fearful of the market and just cash out at lower prices so some people bought bitcoin at 49.50k goes down to those levels most likely they sell because of fear it is what it is it's uh, the human sentiment of the market so Go and check out the video yesterday because I did mention the the upside. Uh, but right now we're having the that um, that ro the basically the rollover that I mentioned yesterday is rolling. It has rolled over, and uh, we are at a critical place where we could drop at least ten thousand US dollars if this um, rectangle doesn't hold. If it holds and we have a bounce at the end of the week, then great. We're just in this consolidation period here and it's just like a tennis match we're just stuck inside this what now 125 130 days of uh, consolidation so if you don't take anything from this video don't panic stick to your plan we are in a bull market yes we can have 25 30 percent corrections just stick to your plan be patient and yeah don't panic sell but you do what you gotta do. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to bring out a quick video. Sorry I'm a bit late today. Usually I do it in the morning, but had to, uh, yeah, had a lot on. Um, but tomorrow, hopefully I'll be with you uh, around the lunchtime period. If not, it will be at some point in the evening. So thanks very much guys and girls for watching, sticking around to the end. Make sure to subscribe if you want the chance to win a, a ledger to keep your crypto safe. You just have to simply hit the subscribe button, leave any comments, thumbs up, like I said at the beginning, and I will see you next time with another video. Bye-bye.